one of the things I want to talk about is just like the way we've kind of organized our agency. I know I've spoke about this a little bit a few times, but I'm going to get into that a little bit today and go over some of the strategies, some of the changes that, you know, after trying to make this work for a little while for people that are trying to scale, um, you know, some of the stuff that I kind of went down one pathway and it wasn't really working. And then we pivoted several times and then we kind of started finding more and more success with things. So, um, and it's obviously, look, I, I, I'm still like making mistakes. I'm continuing to learn every day, every week um, within our agency with, uh, you know, some of, the, some of the stuff now, you know, I think it was last week, I actually let go like um, four people from my team. Um, just we're, we decided we're going to raise the standard. We're not going to kind of tolerate this like marginal added, like marginal performance. You know, um, I'm a big believer. There's like, I, I would love to hear from you guys and maybe we can throw it into the chat. I think this is um, important, but there's, uh, you know, it, it, people to have kind of mantras in your head of things that you can kind of go back to where you, you got to have your guiding principles for your company, but you also have to have them for yourself too of like, hey, this is who I am and this is how I'm going to run things. So one of the ones for me is you get what you tolerate. You know, whatever it is that you're going to be okay with, that's what the standard is going to be. And for me, um, you know, what I did is I, I basically got rid of um, some of our backlinkers. Uh, they, it seemed like they were, we we tried to work with them and we had set up some like contests and I'd given them bonuses and we've done, done a lot. And I think one of the mistakes that I made is I when I hired them, the tone kind of changed throughout the agency. And that's kind of hard to do. It's just like, you know, unlearning a bad habit. Right. So um, I think it's easier when you bring someone in to set that tone from the beginning. And I failed to do that correctly at the beginning with a few of these people. And um, we weren't able to course correct. So as we bring on new people to kind of replace um, some of these hires that didn't work out, we're going to make sure that we, we set that tone. But uh, this attitude where it's like you get you get what you, you're going to get what you what you tolerate. I, th I think that um, it's something for me when, when I see something that. I don't really like, or I'm not comfortable with how it's working. And it's just like, it's easier to just let it keep going on, right? It's easier to just not do anything about it and just kind of like, well, this is working to some extent. Yeah, it is. It is working. And, and it's okay to be like, in my mind, you know, this is kind of like self-talk. Like it's okay to be like a middle of the road agency or it's okay. Like, Hey, we're profitable. We're doing well. We're growing. That's good enough. But, you know, when there's that opportunity for improvement and you see that there's like some weak links, I also think your company is going to kind of only be as strong as, as, as some of these weaker links. And you're, you're the ones, you guys, we work really hard to try to bring this money in and find these clients and build these sites and rank them and all these different things that we do. And when you have somebody in your agency that's, um, that's kind of bringing it down, it's just like you're undoing a lot of your hard work. And that's where I go back to that. You get what you tolerate, right? It's, it's, it's not acceptable for me to have these, like what I want in my agency is I want all stars. Okay. That's, that's what's acceptable for me is I, I want people that are, that are going to do exceptional, that are excited to be here, that are going out and kind of like doing their own research to try to find their own, um, you know, find out, improve on their own. Right. And then we bring it back and we kind of talk as a team. So like, if you don't have that attitude, there's probably a lot of really good companies that you can work for, but we're just not going to be one of them. Right. If we're going to be, exceptional at what we do, then we need all-stars that, that are joined in our team and not these like lukewarm going through the motions type people. And I was tolerating that. And I decided I'm not going to tolerate that anymore. You know, I'm going to go out and I'm going to do the extra work to try to find the people that are really going to work hard and, and leveled up. And this goes not only with my agency, this also goes with the lead generated platform and our, some of our developers, you know, there's a few developers on the team that um, for the most part, we have exceptional developers, but there's a few of them that are, that are not in that space. And you know, that, that's just like, that doesn't work. That doesn't work for me. Okay. So I'm like moving forward. I'm not willing to tolerate this anymore. I'm, I'm just like, that's, that's not going to be the case. And this can be applied to your clients as well. If you're going to bring on like marginal clients, then they're not going to, they're not going to grow at the same pace. Right. And it's okay when you have like zero clients and you bring on your first client and you're like, well, it's, I'm, I'm super excited that I got my first client, but like maybe he doesn't answer the call all the time, or maybe like, like these people are calling back because he never followed up with them. So like, 
it's one thing that let's get the train kind of going down the tracks, but at some point you, you want to make a pivot, right? And, and I think no matter where you are, it's important to kind of set some of these tones from the beginning. And, you know, we've talked about some of this like mindset as we try to bring our clients on and sell our clients um, is kind of like establishing uh, from the beginning who's, and not in like a, like, authoritarian type way, but just establishing some control that you're, you're not afraid to walk away. Right. So um, I think those are some important things. That's something I've been thinking a lot in my, about in my business. Um, I'm also, I'm, I'm trying to think, and, you know, I'm trying to think about how I can continue to bring value to guys. And, um, you know, some of the things, some of the other things I want to do is, is just kind of like mention what I'm going through, what I'm working with, so what I'm struggling with, because I think, um, you know, we're all in different places, but for, you know, for a lot of you guys, maybe I've got like um, a few more reps and a larger sample size within the agency. And, and um, you know, I want to make sure I share that. And I'm open to, obviously, like this doesn't have to be just me talking all the time. It can be more of like a kind of brainstorming session for people that, that have ideas. Um, another thing that I want to share is kind of what I'm reading. I know that some of the books that I've, that I've shared in the past um, were really, really well received. I just, you know, Traction was one of them. Um, I think it's, um, maybe it was, uh, I think maybe Adam McChesney is, is going through traction right now. I can't remember exactly. Someone else was going back through it. Um, I'm reading a really good book right now by Peter Thiel. It's called Zero to One. I'll just kind of share my screen and, and show you what this is about. It's it's a lot about startups, um, but it's, 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 there's so much more to it. For those of you guys who don't know Peter Thiel, he was the co-founder of PayPal. And then... Um, they have this, uh, let me bring up this book on Amazon so you guys can just kind of like take a look at it. And I know it's easier to see it than it is to hear it sometimes. All right, so give me one second here. Let's check this thing out. So this is the book I'm reading, um, Peter Thiel, Zero to One. Okay, so it, it is about startups, which is like maybe more applicable to me because like we've got, you know, Lead Generated is, is very much kind of like a startup, maybe more in the sense of, of um than like a marketing agency to some like where it's like, you know, we're going to try to make sure like we, we're going to try to get this in front of like thousands and thousands of people where we may never have thousands and thousands of people in our, in our agency. Um, but there's so much more to it. So Peter Thiel, one of the most brilliant people on the planet in my mind, um, him along with, um, I think there's been seven of the people that started PayPal have gone on to create additional billion dollar companies. Okay, so they call it the PayPal Mafia. So there's like him and Elon Musk and, you know, a number of other guys. I think YouTube was one of the original um, LinkedIn, like PayPal, um, you know, obviously Tesla. So like all of these people started out at, at PayPal, all kind of working together. And as I was going through this book, that phrase of um, you get what you tolerate, that's something that's been with me for a long time that I've, that I've always thought about. But he goes on to talk about how important it is when we start when we start our business and when we uh, create these partnerships. Um, some of the things that that we should be looking at, and some of the things that are, that are important that I've kind of learned. And then it's it's like it really clicks into place when you have somebody like him go through and and say it in the way that he said it, where it was like, man, I've already I've, I've already learned that lesson, but I, I kind of learned it the hard way. So I'm hoping. You know, for those of you guys that decide that you want to check this book out, I think it's excellent. Um, one of my favorite books. I'm actually, you know, you're reading a really good book when you're like halfway through it and you say to yourself, man, I cannot wait to reread this book because that's what's going on with me now. Because there's so often when I'm reading this book, I have to stop and think about what he said for like five minutes just to kind of process it. Um, so really, really excellent book. I highly recommend it. It's really easy to read. Um, but it, it's one of those books that, that is going to absolutely challenge you and, and really make you think about things.